In this problem, you've been given another equation that represents something. This is the spread of a flu epidemic. So this is the population that's infected. And here is the equation that models. And so I went to my calculator and I typed this in. Notice the use of my parentheses, parentheses before the one and after the exponential. I'm going to need one more parenthesis. This parenthesis closes out that one, and this one will close out that one. So we've taken care of the big divide line. Now we need to look and see what kind of window makes sense. So I'll go to second, table set. I'm set up to ask. And now I'm going to go to my table and see what happens at zero weeks, one week, two weeks, three weeks, 20 weeks. Basically, the whole town is infected. Same thing at 120. So I don't need to go any more than about 20 weeks, it looks like. Even after five weeks, we're at 29,672 people. So I know my Y max is 30,000, and I'm not sure I need more than about five or six weeks. So I'll go to my window and go from zero to let's go to six weeks. Zero for my minimum Y and the population of my town is the max. I never need to look at any more than the population. I'll graph it. and We have a logistic function. So now, how long did it take for 10,000 people to become infected? Well, that's going to be somewhere around here somewhere, but I really don't know until I go to my graph and I draw a line at 10,000. Now I can see it's exactly that point there, and I'll calculate my intersection. First curve, second curve, I'm hitting Enter. My guess, I hit enter, and it finds the answer at 1.535 weeks. Now we're asked how long for three quarters of the town to be infected. Well, that's going to be three quarters of or times the 30,000 people total. So I'll go back to my calculator, and I'll just type that in. Instead of 10,000, we've got three quarters of 30,000. Now we're looking all the way up here. Again, an intersection shows me at 2.73 weeks. You weren't asked for how many people would be infected after two weeks, but that would be an easy calculation as well. Now I would go second, calculate a value, and plug in two weeks, and my calculator would spit out 15,032 people after two weeks.